a fever, Huckle. Now let's listen to your heart. How does he sound, Dr. Lion? This is Huckle's fourth sore throat this year. I think he should have his tonsils out. You mean go to the hospital? You're not scared, are you, Huckle? Heck no. Don't worry. I'll take your whole family on a hospital tour before we check you in. Good morning, Nurse Nora. Good morning, Dr. Lyon. All's quiet in the emergency room. Hey, Dr. Baby. Wow! This is the emergency room. It's empty now, but not for long. Stand aside, everyone. It's an emergency. Oh, good morning, Mr. Crumble. We held your usual room. Hello, Nurse Dora. Afraid I fell on my nose again, chasing my hat. Well, I'm glad you found it. This is the physical therapy room, where we have whirlpool baths and exercise equipment. Toys don't belong with this kind of bath, Huckle. It's for therapy, to help injured people get stronger. Sorry, Dr. Lyon. And this is the radiology lab. They've got skeletons in here! <laughs> They're not spooky skeletons, Sally. These are x-ray pictures of Mr. Frumble. They must be really old pictures. Look how skinny he used to be. No, no. This x-ray machine took pictures of the bones inside him. See? Here's his broken nose. Can we borrow this machine for Halloween? I don't think so, Sally. And finally, this is our courtyard, where all our patients can rest and relax while they get better. See, Huckle, it's not so bad. Everyone does seem to like it here. Okay, I'll have the operation. But, but only if Lolly can stay with me. Of course. He can sleep on a sofa in the visitor's lounge. We'll have fun, Huckle. Huckle? You asleep? No. What are you doing there? I've decided not to have my operation. You're leaving because you're scared. Scared? Ha ha! Well, maybe just a little. Maybe if you talk to the other people who are here, you'll feel better. You really think so? Let's go see Sprout Goat. Okay. Hi, Sprout Goat. Why are you in the hospital? I'm here for another operation to straighten out my leg. It's the fourth and last time. You've been here four times? Aren't you scared? I was at first, but the nurses are so nice. And besides, I get to stay up late. But don't the operations hurt? A little bit afterwards, but you sleep right through the operation and don't feel a thing. What are you in for? To have my tonsils out. You're lucky. After that operation, you'll get all the ice cream you can eat. Ice cream? Ice cream? All you can eat? I wonder if worms have tonsils. Ice cream sounds good, but I'm still leaving. Let's talk to one more person. There's Mr. Frumble's room. Mr. Frumble's bed is all folded up. See, even he left. Could you please push the button? I can't quite reach it. Oh! Oh, thank you. Dear me. One day, I must learn how to use those buttons. Mr. Frumble, are you scared to be in a hospital? Heavens, no. I come here all the time. Everyone is so nice. <sighs> oh, dear. With Sprout or Mr. Frumble's problems, you need to be in a hospital. But all I have is a little sore throat. Mrs. Stitches? What's wrong with you? Not a thing, boys. I have a new baby, and this hospital is taking the best care of both of us. Well, she certainly looks happy to be here. Hmm. I guess if a little baby isn't afraid to be here, I shouldn't be either. You're right. Come on, I'm going back to my room. Goodbye, Mrs. Stitches. Oh, 
Now, Huckle, try to count backwards from 100. 100, 99, 98. Okay. 100, 99, 90, 11, 98, 11. Huckle? Huckle, are you all right? 97. Hey. What are you guys doing here? The operation's over, Huckle. You've been asleep for hours. How do you feel, darling? Okay, except my throat's still sore. Don't worry. You'll feel better tomorrow, and even better the next day. How about a little ice cream, Huckle? Ow! Hey, Sprout. You said I could have all the ice cream I wanted. No. I said all the ice cream you could eat, but I guess you can't eat any yet. Well, if I have my tonsils out, mm, mm, you can eat my ice cream, okay? <laughs> <laughs>